Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince and Milan Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Prince Milan Entertainment, Facebook, or Prince Milan Entertainment. We're on Instagram at a Prince Milan Entertainment TV and also on Twitter at a P Miller ENT. Welcome to another edition of our daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Today is the 18th of January uh, 2022. So, guys, we keep on following uh, the trending picture of Sevia uh, Gasukwere. Temba Mliskwa and Killer Zivu. And again, so exiled former cabinet minister Sevega Sukwere has claimed that it was time for him to make difficult decisions to save the revolutionary movement and to act on the injustice that President Emerson Nangagwa has helped on the G40 Kabo. Kasukwere alleged that Nangagwa was dishing out goodies to former MDC members who defected to the ruling party while the ill treatment of many within the NPF was beyond imagination. The issue of ill treatment and injustice to cadres affects one's conscience every day. I receive calls and pleas from cadres on a daily basis. It weighs heavily, therefore, that a solution should be found for our comrades to live normal lives without victimization, he said in a statement yesterday. Comrades, it appears those who have turned from the MDC uh, to the current system are actually enjoying uh, to the decrement of those who stood with, with the party during difficult times. Some have become ambassadors and commissioners, board directors and beneficiaries of the state. The committed party cadres are today running and hiding from fellow comrades. Kasukwere says NPF members are turned against each other. Someone should take the lead and search for a solution. The comrades I meet and those I shall meet in future are affected. Freedom and peace will always come at a cost. I have said it before that painful decisions have to be taken and the process has begun, he said. We are Zimbabweans and we have to raise our voices now. Comrades, we have emotions and different ideas on how to tackle this challenge. I have laid out the crisis as I see it and I'm not afraid to confront it. Kasukere went into self-imposed exile in November 2017 after a coup which ousted the late former President Robert Mugabe from power. The former ZANPF commissar said several former ministers and government officials who served under Mugabe were now being treated as ZANPF's outcasts and many of them had been arraigned before the courts on spurious charges. That is to end were all deep and painful wounds of the treatment that has been meted out by fellow comrades to many of us who loved the party and respected our President Mugabe, he said. Some have lost their loved ones, some sucked from their work, some thrown out of the party for having supported Mugabe as our president, some are in exile and some live with exclusion and victimizations to this day, some are before the courts and paying huge amounts to defend themselves on spurious charges, some have yet their land taken away and many are living in fear. Kasukwere said the NPF should not be harming its children and leaders that served under Mugabe. We have to ask these difficult questions and hopefully find an answer. Is this the NPF party we served so loyal? Is this the party of our fathers and mothers who sacrificed for our freedom? Comrades, I will not bore you with more details and lamentations. Difficult decisions have been made and in the process we should now consult wide and far on how to resolve the, uh, this deadly situation, he said. But NPF spokesperson Christopher Mchwangwa dismissed Kasukwere's claims in a press statement yesterday, which I did talk about it here earlier on today. And uh, Mchwangwa, uh, the men were saying that uh, they can continue whistling in the dark of political wideness or the blind and deaf notice of serious minded Zimbabweans should focus on the record of unprecedented national progress. South Africa is proven to be a barren hunting ground for attention-seeking, Kasukwere Mutangwa said in the statement. Kasukwere is just a mere youth when it comes to ZANU-PF affairs. What does he know about ZANU-PF? The problem with Kasukwere is that he has no humility after what he did under Mugabe's rule, Mutangwa said. It means he does not lean. He is over-ambitious. He learns nothing. The threats that he is making are blasters from someone who has fallen completely 
on the west side and there. so that's the ongoing uh, trending pictures which are circulating on social media of Sylvia Kasukwere. What the man is saying is true, it's definitely true. Uh, if you are kicked out of that, a wild, wild animal, and you know, I told you, I was party because you lose some of the privileges. And I think I put out my comrades are party, so the man is feeling that coldness, that's why he is issuing those statements. And but at the same time, I still feel that, um, most of the people were also welcomed uh from other parties who are joining zanu pf they're actually receiving good treatment and uh, which is definitely true we saw so many people being appointed ambassadors on which poma position are nani and the but i think i was not about gara party which means which one hour and what gara maybe what my zanu pf from way back but i think it's the right opposition party and uh, so it is what it is this is what uh people should know that uh, politics can change any time, any day. That's how uh, Kasukwere is feeling right now and other comrades who were kicked out uh, from ZANU PF. And yeah, so this is our daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Milan Entertainment TV. We keep you guys in the loop regarding to this uh, latest story of uh, Sefer Kasukwere. The man is thinking of coming back and he is coming back. I think this year, not thinking, the man is really like coming back this year. And uh, whether he's gonna form a new party, we really don't know, but he's planning something. And uh, so we keep you guys in the loop here on the daily news, breaking news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. But he remains saying that he is an PF through and through. But can they readmit him back into the party? I don't see it happening any soon. And uh, so, what's the plan? Kasukwere and team are planning time with you. Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Milan Entertainment TV. Remember guys to like, share, and comment, and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here on this channel each and every day, each and every hour. Like, share, and comment. Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Milan Entertainment TV. Bless up.